There's not a boo out there. That style is weird. You you sparred boo boo before? Yeah. It's just like what what Fought is this? Before. What is this? I fought boo boo twice. Where's it from, Roland? I told the story, right? Yeah, he whooped you. Stop no, no, no. I told. Did I tell the second story about when I no, when I beat him? It. All right. So here here's the quick story. And here's the quickest story. Um, first time we met each other was was we were 16 years old. I'm gonna tell the story as quick as possible. In the um, quarterfinals, I knocked out my guy in the first or second round. And I went over to his ring to watch him fight his guy. And the whole fight, I'm watching, and I know he's winning this fight. Yeah. And I'm like, Shh. Yeah. Because he fights. This is how you beat Sean Porter. It's the way he fights. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And so the other dude got his hand raised. Dude got a gift. I'm like, all right, bet. Cool. Yeah. Going to knock dude out. I win the tournament. Yeah. So we stay down there for for uh, a week of a camp, and then they bring in a, whole, a couple of other countries, and we do an international tournament. They keep the number one and number two guy down there because I knocked out both the other guys. Mm. He gets to stay down there. He stays down. Okay, he does the you. camp. We never spar nothing like that. But the first fight, I draw boo boo. You got like five other countries there, and I draw boo boo. <laughs> fight went exactly how I knew it was gonna go. Uh -huh. He just countered my pressure. Speed turned the whole nine, and it was a wrap. Mm -hmm. So now I'm looking at this dude like he the best thing in in, in America, and um, he goes on to win into the men's, and he's winning tournaments in the men's, and he won the Golden Gloves, and he won the U.S. Championships, and I'm like behind because I like I'm getting to the nationals, but I ain't winning, and and I'm watching him do his thing. So we get to the nationals, and we draw each other in the semis or the or the or the finals. And between 16 and 18, there was only one person that beat him. Mm -hmm. I went to that dude and asked him, yo, how'd you beat Boo Boo? He told me how he beat Boo Boo. I went in the ring, four two-minute rounds. My dad yelling after, at me after every round, what are you doing? You got to pressure him. Yeah, yeah. You got to do you this. Ain't you, gotta, doing, you ain't doing I, what I'm telling you. I knew the pressure. Yeah, I knew yeah. that that wasn't going to get uh, so the job you, done. Hey, so you and your dad trained the game plan, but you had, oh, I'm doing this. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> hey, man, hard-headed, boy. Hard. Why didn't you just, oh, yeah, your dad ain't going for and it. And I ended up beating by two, by like two points. So what do your dad say when you do stuff like that? After the pissed. fight, because and, and now I know it was the semis. <laughs> and now I know it was the semis. Because my dad, all the yelling he was doing every, <laughs> after every round, right? Live it. Yeah. We go to the hotel. We done for the night, you know, and everything is calmed down, right? And my dad would have, he would have a grown man conversation. He says, so so what was that tonight? What was going yeah. on? Why, why weren't you doing what I asked you to and do? And he pulled the chair up to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. And so I told him, I said, look, man, I asked, shout out to Brad Solomon. Great guy, great fighter. Um, I don't think he's active anymore, but uh, he had a small run in the in the pros. Um, check him out, y'all. Um, but I said, Brad, the only one to beat Boo Boo. And so I asked Brad how to beat him, and he told me, and that's what I did. He said, oh, okay, you asked Brad. <laughs> I, said, I said, yeah. He said, well, you got that out of your system because we got to win this championship tomorrow. Of course, we went on to yeah. do that, so... Boo Boo is very, very hard to beat. You have to game plan for Boo Boo. You have to game plan for what I consider to be the nonsense because he throws punches off angles. When he's elite, he can move and punch at the same time. Not a lot of fighters can. You got so you got the typical check hook. Yes, but you you like yeah, the drunken is, master yeah, almost yeah. when he when he's elite. Yeah. and on top of his shit. Yeah, he, you see this like drunken master like I'm everywhere. Doing stuff that you Benavides know. Benavides better not let him build up his confidence. Yeah, I mean, when he gets comfortable, yeah, he owns shit. Yeah, 